Hello everybody, happy Monday to you. And if you are here on Guam, I hope you're staying dry and out of the rain. It's actually a very blustery day. If you kind of look at my, um, the corner there, my window, you'll see the, um, the canvas blowing in the wind. It has been very, very windy here. We just have a storm for those who are not on Guam, that's why it's blustery. Anyway, so, um, Happy Monday and hey Kim, how are you doing? Um, so welcome to this edition of my Make It Monday. And since it's Easter week, I also wanted to do something special. Hi Eva Marie, how are you? Anyway, so I'm excited because I'm doing something special for Easter. And uh, what it is, is if you had caught the advance notice of this um, live is I am going to be doing some Easter egg um, little gifts for you guys. So as a thank you for commenting on um, my life post, I wanted to encourage you to leave a comment. And um, as a thank you, I will put, I will pick one of these eggs, I mean randomly, I won't look. And in there is either a 10% off coupon, a free shipping coupon, um, it could also be um, a pack of bling. You know I love bling. So it could be a pack of bling. Um, it could be a pack of sample 6x6 paper. Um, so what you actually get may not be what you're seeing there, but um, that's what it is. So anyway, so let's get started. So I not sh I'm not really good at multitasking when I'm doing my lives. So um, if I miss your name during the live, don't worry, I will go back and uh, draw your name again and you'll get a price. And for those of you who are watching um, this on replay or my uh, subscribers on YouTube, uh, don't worry, you're not left out. So for those who are watching on replay and um, on YouTube, um, you'll be getting a um, free shipping coupon. So leave a comment and you'll get a free shipping coupon from me. And if you are a team member, I will give you a special gift in our next um, team meeting. Hi, Sally. So it's also spring break, so I'm suspecting I see all these people jumping on because it's spring break and you have a little time to watch. So thank you very much. Anyway, so anyway, okay, so let's get started. So today um, our project will be a quick and easy um, Easter card. I don't know whether you realize that April is National Card and Letter Writing Month. And so I thought Easter was the perfect opportunity for me to uh, mail out a whole bunch of cards to my friends and celebrate not only Easter, but celebrate our friendship through getting some snail mail because who doesn't lo love a handmade card in the mail? Okay, so let me switch the camera around and let's get started. All right, so so be sure to leave a comment. And for those of you who are my team members, um, I, I won't draw an egg because you don't probably need a 10% coupon or free shipping coupon, but I will send you a special gift during our next team meeting. All right, I'll prepare something for you for leaving a comment. I appreciate them. Anyway, so before we jump into the project, once again, I wanna remind you that the last chance product list is out. Not only is it listing all the, um, the retiring products, it's also going to let you know that some of the bundled products will no longer be bundled. And the advantage of having a bundled product is you earn 10% discount on it. So, um, so don't lose out on earning 10% discount on a bundle. So if you don't already have this list, let me know and I will mail you out, email you or direct message you one out as soon as possible. Again, Savings in bloom is still going on until March 30. Oh, this is already done. Oh, this is April. What am I doing? Okay, this doesn't belong here. This one belongs here. Yes, this is waves of the ocean. Again, get the paper. And I think the paper's all gone, isn't it? Or no, you better get some more paper. And this catalog won't expire until June. Okay, and there are a few products here that will be retiring. 
like for example, this artfully layered, for us who are living on Guam, this is a beautiful kit, this artfully layered stamp set, it's going away. How can it be? And also the rainbow one, uh, this rainbow one, is also leaving. So if you've been on the fence about these two very, very cute and hot products, you need to get on um, um, and ordering it, okay? So, as I said, April is card making, card and letter writing month. And I wanted to make a whole bunch of cards and the easiest way to do a whole bunch of cards is to be able to mass produce it. And so here comes a card template that I found that is perfect for this particular uh, project, okay? You know, I love following card templates. Every time I'm stuck on, you know, like having a, a blank moment, I just need to go through my files of card templates and then pick something and boom, the artistic, the creative juices will start flowing. Okay, so this is the template, okay? Very simple, but believe me, once you start going with this, there's so many possibilities, and it's a great go-to if you're running out of ideas, and it's a great way to showcase the coordination between two DSPs as well. Now, um, I, you know, the thing about Facebook is I published my event, and it had on the description um, a list of supplies for this project if you wanted to make it with me. And lo and behold, when I went to check on it, because I wanted to double check the measurements, it was gone. Not only was it gone, the picture that I loaded was wrong too. So I don't know. Anyway, so I quickly uploaded a new picture. And before I know it, it's, you know, it's like, okay, you know what? Never mind. So I hope those of you who are going to follow me was able to find the measurements or the pieces that you needed. So I don't know. So if you will leave a comment to let me know if you are actually following me, um, while we make this or you're just listening and watching because that way I can speak a little faster or go a little slower if I know that if there's people making the project with me. So anyway, so the pieces that you need is a standard note card. This is four and a quarter and five and a half. And for this particular card, I made it this way. Okay. Of course, you can have it the other way. But basically, it is a portrait size card that we're going to be making. You are going to need a piece of DSP. That is, let me grab the ruler. Oops. Oh, this is three by five. Okay, so you need a piece that's three by five. And a coordinating strip. This is half, yep, half by five. Okay. Oh, okay, Becky, you're making a card, but not the one that you're making. Oh, okay, all right, gotcha. So not only that, you also need a tag, because if you look at, here it is, there's a tag that you need. So I think we've got all the pieces. Let me grab the tag here. Okay. So there's the pieces. So let's make some magic here. So the first thing you want to do, and of course you need a sentiment, okay? And the sentiment that I picked was this one. And look at this, 2002, that's 20 years ago. <laughs> anyway, I just keep these because these are so useful, okay? All right, thanks for letting me know, Sally. So, okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to combine the strip with this. This is such an awesome design where you're actually combining two different DSPs, designer series paper, together, right? It really showcases the coordination between this. I mean, this one doesn't work very well, but, you know, you could use this if you wanted to. But I picked this one because it really brightens up this otherwise dark uh, paper. So I'm picking up the Blushing Bride, I think it is, and the Flirty Flamingo. So let's get moving. So I just want need, you know what, I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to need a little strip on the edge. Okay. 
So you see the glue, and then I'm gonna glue it on here. So it's not very precise, so I just want it a little bit there, just making sure that it's, there we go. There, that wasn't too hard, was it? So then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my adhesive onto this paper. And I'm gonna butt it against the left-hand side, okay? There you go. So now for the tag. So I wanted to share with you a trick in case you don't realize. So I wanted a tag for this card. This is the size I wanted, okay? Because if I did this size, it's just too huge. But then the sentiment that I picked wouldn't fit here. Okay, see, it doesn't fit. So what to do? Well, we would custom make our tag, which is what happens here. And I wanted to show you how easily it can be done. So let me bring out my handy dandy little machine. And I have this piece of cardstock, right? And let's get started with the sandwich. So remember, when you're doing the mini, you want to stagger it. So I've staggered that, it's right. And I'm going to put these together, okay? Grab that. There we go. There we go, so I still need that one, okay. So as I said, this is too long for this card. I mean, it just basically covers up the whole thing. Oops, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is make it shorter. How do I make it shorter? Okay, so let's bring this back up again. So with this particular um, die, you see there's teeth here, right? So the teeth, what you do is you need to decide how much shorter you want it. You can make it this short, this short, or this short. And what happens is, if you, you'll know what I mean is, the teeth of this die will catch onto the holes here, okay? So I'm, hopefully, okay. So see, it's, it's locked, okay? So that's what we want. We want it to lock, okay? And I usually, let's see, there we go. I think that's it. So to make it that it doesn't wobble as we, feed it through i'm not going to go i'm going to go ahead and put washi tape right here okay so that it stays that way and because i only want to cut here i only need to put the cutting plate there okay so let's move this okay there we go okay now we can Move that away. And if you take this out, voila, you have a short one, okay? So you can really customize these tags to fit your needs, okay? So there, so let's get, let's continue the card. Let me put those away. So for this Happy Easter, I'm going to use Evening Evergreen, Evening Evergreen, okay? This is like my go-to non-black, okay? So let me go ahead and ink this up, okay? And I'm going to stamp it right here. There we go. So... Does it look a little empty to you? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it a little bit, so that it's not too lonely there. It looks like it's just sitting there all by itself on this tag. So I like to use these smooshes to give it some added interest. And there, there. 
I think that's better, don't you think so? So then we need to bring in our ribbon. And one of my go-to simple way of putting a ribbon on these cards is to literally just slip one through. And tie it with the baker's twine. This is part of the um, package of, I think, four colors. I had a sample pack here. Oh, here it is. This is how it looks like. Black, gray, this, and I believe there's a white one. No, there's a crumb cake one. Um, so I actually really like using vanilla. It's a very elegant color, not as bright as white. So I'm really happy that this particular DSP, the undertone of the design was for a vanilla cardstock. Oops, okay, let me see. There we go, I'm gonna tie it. It's always hard tying a ribbon there. So there we go. Okay, so I should probably make it into a bowl. Let's see how my, you know what, I'm going to do it later because it looks like I might not, oh wait, I might be able to do this. This is the pressure of live Facebook. There we go. Yay. Got it. Whew. Okay, so there. There you go. So then all we need to do, well, we probably need to cut this a little bit. This, cut this shorter. Kim, you gotta hold on. I gotta show you my last card. It's a case of what you just did this morning. I loved what you did this morning. <laughs> so I was waking up and I saw your video and I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I needed as my last card. So anyway, so stay tuned, Kim. Don't go away. Okay, so there we go. And there we have it. And of course, no card is complete without some bling. And I just love these brass butterflies because it has that touch of gold that brings it some light. And also it's flat. So you can really mail it and without worrying about having it piercing through the envelope. So here we go. One, two, two, so there. And so you have it. Here's the card. Let me put this away. And of course, another way you can do the tag, which I love to do, is like this. This is with a die cut. Uh, word wishes. Let's see, where is it? Yep, here it is. And right now, um, it's going away. It won't, it's going, it's going. So it's on the last chance list at 20% off. And this is, oops, sorry. This is all the greetings you need. I mean, this is a must have. I'm so sorry to see it leave. And um, you, it covers the gamut of all the occasions you might need. And my favorite way to work on that is to combine it with block letters. So, this is one example, okay? So let me show you some other cards that I've made. And remember I was saying, okay, so this was the another one that I did as my original one, okay? So again, this one I have the butterflies on the tag. This one I have it flying off. So it's really up to you how you want the butterflies to fly. And remember I mentioned to you that um, well, first of all, let me back up. So I don't know if you guys recognize this paper. This was free paper from Celebration. And the minute I saw that, I knew I wanted to do my Easter cards with that. And uh, so then I, I was on the hunt for a quick and easy assembly line type of a card template. And this is what I found. So with this, let me show you how cute it looks miniaturized. Okay. So these are the little note cards. Um, that we sell. It's perfect. It, 
it's mailable, but I'm actually hand delivering it to some of the people. And uh, so this is a little option. So instead of having the same length as your DSP, you can make it shorter. And that's also another kind of interest, right? And um, so this is with the twine here. Happy Easter. This is from a past paper pumpkin kit. See, it works really well. And I'm not kidding you. Look at this. This was so easy to come up with. And if you're not into doing the Easter cards with this, this is all ready for you to plop a greeting to it when you need it, right? This really takes advantage of all the different patterns of that DSP and using the uh, coordinating backside of it, really quick and easy. And that's the key to a quick and easy card. You need great paper, and this was great paper. And Stamping Up actually does great paper anyway. Okay, so this, and let me show you what other samples I've done. Okay, so here's another one. It doesn't need to be straight. So I used a border, okay. Hi, Jill, thanks for joining in. So this one, again, this is a past paper pumpkin kit. Uh, Happy Easter. See, this is what I meant how I like doing a die cut letter and combine it with a block. So this is similar, okay. So this is taking advantage of the yellow, okay. And not only can you use like a border, um, cut out a border, how about a ribbon? Oops, there we go. So this is the ribbon acting as that strip from the template, the card template. And instead of a, a real tag, here's a label, okay? Quick and easy. I mean, you can make up these the, uh, the background so quickly, and all you need is to put on the greeting. So this could very well be a happy Mother's Day, happy spring card, right? Okay. And the beauty of um, the pattern, I'm trying to find the pattern. Oh, here we go. And the beauty of using a pattern is it, you don't have to use it as is. Turn it around. See if this works or maybe even like this, or like this, or this way. You can't really see it, but I think you can, you know what I mean, right? Turn it around and have some fun with this. And so this is this card, okay? So it's doing this variation, and this is the tag portion, okay? Again, this is what, what I love to do is the die cut, and then follow it with block letters. I think it gives it a really nice contrast, interest. It's just fun to combine these things, okay? So that's another card. And this is a souped up version of the original card. So this is the original card, right? So now this is stepped up a bit, using a little bit more background to it, if you will. So this one, instead of a plain background, okay, I went ahead and did a subdued pattern background, okay? And reinforcing the theme here and uh, some more blings, okay? And here's a card that I'm casing from Kim. She had a video this morning that I saw and I was like, wow, it's perfect for this paper because you know, for this series, there was a paper that was this long right so this is what i did with it so happy easter so being faithful to the template i added an edge to this part of the card okay and there you go this one is just the edge here okay so why waste it it looks like a nice band here okay so this is so much fun with great DSP, and of course, Stamping Up has great DSP. And I don't wanna leave without showing you another card that I made that was Easter theme that for some reason generated a lot of interest. Have you seen this that I posted a while back? I don't think I've had as many people like a card as this particular card. So I wanted to share this with you um, in case you missed it. Um, 
it's totally outside my comfort zone. I normally don't do cutesy type things like this, but um, I saw an image on Instagram, the uh, floral arrangement had bunny ears out. I was like, hey, I can do that with this. And this is what I did. So anyway, so have fun. So I hope these cards have inspired you to uh, create a bunch of cards really quickly, easily, and send them out because it is National Card and um, Letter Writing Month. All right. So I am looking at everybody. It seems like my team member is in full force. And so unless those of you who are watching and have not left a comment, um, please do because you're gonna miss out on me opening up an Easter egg for you, okay? So each egg has a, a special offer in there, okay? So let me see. So let, just to show you that I'm not, you know, lying there you go ah see this one is free shipping as i said for all my team members who are watching i know you don't need my free shipping um but i will send you a special gift at our next team meeting i will include you with um, a little something for making a comment during my live video okay so again these are the cards i made and let me show you again the template that i used it's great working with a template because all, the hard part's done. You just need to follow this. So this one versus this one, right? And this one. And this was the original one that we made, right? And then of course, all these. That is ready for a greeting. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and um, go send some cards out and uh, have a safe and blessed Easter this Sunday. All right. Oh, before I go, before I almost forgot the most important. Oh, actually, I have two things that I forgot to mention. So if you're actually looked, got a copy of the annual catalog, if you look real carefully, this is almost the same principle as this. I just realized that not too long ago. So it was like, wow, you've got an edge, okay? And you've got a taggish type of a image here, right? And in case you didn't recognize, let me see, um, one of, oh, where's the other one? It's here. Yep. This one, if you notice, this one is from the new catalog. So that's like a little sneak peek of a particular die that's going to be in the new catalog. And I just love this. Love, love, love this. Okay. So for my existing customers, I have catalogs and uh, just message me and we can connect and you can get your hands on the, this new catalog. And also mark your calendars, May 22nd, which is a Sunday, we'll have our new catalog launch open house. It starts at three and details and the cost for attending will be forthcoming. We're just still ironing out some little details, but um, the minute we've got that finalized, you will hear it. So, but the first thing is mark May 22nd on your calendar, do not miss it. There'll be door prizes, there will be make and takes, and you just wanna be there, okay? So let's see what other things. Um, that is really it then. Okay, thank you again for joining me. And for those of you who popped in and didn't make a comment, um, I hope you'll do. And uh, let me know that you're here. I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.